Welcome to Data Shark Academy. In previous section of this course, we learned about scope import process and related commands. As we learned, scope import moves the data from relational database to Hadoop or Hive. On the contrary, scope export is the exact opposite of scope import. Using export, you can move the data from Hadoop or Hive to a relational database such as MySQL. In order for this to work, you must have MySQL table set up before export command is triggered. There are a couple of directives provided exclusively for scoop export. For example, as you can see on the screen, export dir is the directory on Hadoop that is going to be exported from Hadoop to relational table. The next directive is table. Table name here is the name of the table on MySQL side. This is not Hive table. Third directive is input fields terminated by. As its name suggests, this is indicating the delimiter that is used in the files stored on the Hadoop side. For this exercise, we will need a couple of things to set up before we can move the data into MySQL database. So let's get started. So let me bring the terminal up. So first thing we need to do is import the employees table again and create a hive table on top of it. And when creating the hive table and also importing the data from relational database, we need to make sure that we specify the field delimiter not as the comma because comma is already part of the column values and it will create issues if we do that so let me start the import process all right and we want to do hive import and our hive database will be school and hive table name will be employees we need to mention fields terminated by pipe and in the end I need the driver Now run this, what it will do is, it will dump the file on SDFS and instead of using default field delimiter, which is comma, it will use pipe and that will make sure that we do not have data issues when we run the subsequent queries in this exercise. So run this. So it has copied the data, now it's creating hive table on top of it. You see that it has created 1000 records as expected. Almost done. Okay, so now go to hive and we'll verify this table. Imports. Switch to this database and hive and say show tables. So we have a table created with name employees. Let's quickly do a select star from employees. Let me tell. In fact, you see that we have some columns with comma in the value and this will create issue. If we do not clean this up so what we need to do is to create another table 
in this database called employee CTC and we are going to join employee and salary table all together and calculate sum of all the salaries paid to the employee over his tenure okay so let me create the table first let's create an external table employee CTC first column will be employee ID it's an integer first name is second column last name and then total salary And we also need row format delimited fields terminated by pipe lines terminated by let's say new line Enter. and the location of this file on SDFS will be under scoop and employees you can see so the table is created now we need to insert data into it and way we can do that is using insert query insert overwrite table employee CTC Select a dot employee number, first name, last name, and sum of salaries from salaries table. And we call this as CTC. Now from scoop imports is our database and employee is the table name and the other table is in mysql scoop salaries so this salaries table was imported as part of the exercise we did for all table imports so if you have not done that please do it and we'll have this table created on the hive site okay We need the join statement now so this is on the employee number should be matching okay and we also want group by let's add the order by also In descending order. So let's run this. So as I said, this is going to calculate total of all the salaries per employee and load it into employee CTC table. Okay. All right. So it looks like it's done. Let's take a look at this uh, data. Alright, so this is how it looks. It has the employee number, first name, last name, and total of the salaries paid to the employee in descending order. So the employee who is getting maximum salary is the first one in this table. Alright, now we have a table set up, data also set up on the hive side. We need to move this data to MySQL. And in order to do it, we need to first create the MySQL table. So let's connect to MySQL. So this Hadoop. All right. So show databases. We'll use the scoop database, and we will create a new table in it. Same name as uh, employee CTC. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, first column is employee ID, which is in 
integer and we'll make it a primary key the first name which is vanguard okay last name vanguard okay and cdc which is a float okay all right so table is created now we have all the setup done the last step we need to run is to export this data which is a scoop command so let's go to scoop session get this out and we can run the scoop export command now which will copy this data right. so we have the scoop export directory as employee ctc okay. so this is where the data needs to be copied from we provide the stfs directory and the table that should be used on uh, mysql site is uh, employee ctc input fields terminated by pipe so this is important to tell that how to read this file on SDFS and extract individual fields from it so that is why we need to specify the delimiter and finally we need driver so now we are exporting data from Hadoop to MySQL Right, so now you can see the messages have changed it's saying uh, beginning export of employee CTC earlier we used to see beginning import of so-and-so table okay more or less it is same the only difference is in the direction the data is flowing now okay so it's already started or it's done and as you can see it has exported 1000 records right so let's go in MySQL side and check the data. Cool. So we can see the data here, right? And what I can do is just to validate this even further, we can order by CTC descending and see if it matches. Now we see that the employee who was getting the maximum salary is with the employee ID 10897 if I go to Hive this was the employee who was getting maximum salary so it matches and congratulations you successfully managed to copy the data from SDFS to MySQL All right so try this out on your end and let me know if you have any issues I'll see you in the next class